Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Keo Daikin, and welcome back to the channel. Yeah, I've been away for a little bit, but if you've been missing me, I've actually been making a lot of firework videos for this time of year on my other channel, Keo Boom Daikin. And then, of course, my dog has some complications in the past couple of days. And then on top of that, actually, this particular video, I was planning on uploading it a few days ago, but I actually lost the footage, but I was able to recover it. But yeah, we have a brand new EE Prom updater made by one of the members of the Supreme team for RetroPie, uh, just to kind of go over a few things. So the cool thing about this uh, new toolkit is that it lets you know what previous uh, EEPROM updater that you have. It also lets you know when was the last time you updated. One of the cool features about this uh, particular EEPROM updater is that it uniformly, universally allows everybody to have the same EE prompt update. Now, the reason why a lot of people have been having problems with some of the Supreme builds, particularly even mine with Venom, Pistolero, and several other uh, retro pie images in the community, everybody has different EEPROMs. And as you guys have watched one of my previous videos, I commented on that, that it's almost impossible to troubleshoot retro pie images because of all the different EEPROMs out there, all the different scenarios, is really made it a hassle in the community. So with this new EEPROM updater, it erases a lot of those different problems. It actually brings everything up to date. And one of the problems that was caused by having so many different EEPROM updates is that even though you could all have updated according to what one of the devs have told me, is that even though you could have all updated in either August, September, October, uh, from my understanding, the Raspberry Pi team released versions like 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. So though, even though all of the entire community was downloading or using uh, the same EEPROM updates or uh, reaching out to their servers within the same month, it could be different versions of it, which is why everybody is having a hard time uh, with RetroPie images saying, hey, mine doesn't work, or how comes you know mine doesn't boot? And I've alluded to that in the previous video, and that's why I've tried to steer away from answering a lot of questions because it's really been a big debacle and a headache. But with this tool, it answers a lot of questions, it fixes a lot of things, it brings everybody up to date. And also with this tool, it allows you to go in and actually change or modify the device ID for your SSD drive. So you can see here in this video, I'm using a Samsung drive and it does manually allow me to type in a unique ID to have it consistent so that way it could boot automatically. Uh, you have an EEPROM updater ch uh, checker there, and it also shows you different versions that you could add as well. Now, one of the other things that I've noticed about this EEPROM updater, and when you're going to the system, it does actually speed up your RetroPie device. And again, for those of you guys who aren't familiar with some of these EEPROM updates, in some cases, your Pi may not boot, it may, uh, the image may run faster, it may run slower. So it really all depends. So even some of the videos that I may have uh, reviewed myself in some cases, or reviews you may see on other channels, you could get a different result by having a specific EE prom update, and that really causes a lot of things in uh, the com in the community doing different video tutorials and stuff. It's it's really hard to kind of pinpoint certain things, but for the most part, this should be rolled out today. Today is Friday, I believe it is June the fourth. Again, this was supposed to uh, launch, or actually I was supposed to upload this video a couple of days ago, and also possibility may even have the dev come on live to maybe better explain some things. But just wanted to show you that all these new tools are available. And again, I don't believe this is specific to any RetroPie image. I don't believe it is gonna be exclusive to Supreme Ultra. Uh, you would have to message some of the guys on the Supreme team to figure that out. Or uh, what I'll do is I'll get an update and then update the video description or leave a comment uh, below for everybody. But I uh, just wanted to put out this update to let you guys know, yeah, I'm still working on RetroPie stuff. And kind of, you know, it does kind of get, help to get away, you know, because there is a lot of time spent doing stuff like this and testing and uh, making sure the community is uh, up to par and getting the best things that are out there. So with that being said, this EE prom update could take you about a good 30 to 40 minutes, depending upon how many updates it needs to pull down. 
Now, some people were able to do this in a few seconds. Now, if you look here, look here on the screen, this is where you can type in the device ID for your standard Samsung or uh, SSD drive. I didn't have a problem because all of my SSD drives and drives that I have always boot. So this is not something you would typically have to play around with. with. But uh, look forward to seeing it on the online toolkit. I know it's a frame again. I'll keep you guys updated if this is going to be universal for other images, which I believe it would be. Now, I know uh, several months ago, a lot of you guys were asking me for the Supreme Online Updater for the EEPROM update that I use. So here you have it. This is the next best thing. This one is uh, more of an official version. No more tests, no more betas. And I'm glad to help out the community. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is Keo Daiken. Catch you guys next time. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Got a lot of good things heading your way. Later.